He'll tee it up. Wisconsin won the toss, deferred the second half. So Indiana will touch it first and back deep. Mike Middleton and Thomas Lewis. And that's Lewis, and he's dangerous. Second in the Big Ten, over 23 yards per return. The 43rd meeting between the Hoosiers and the Badgers as we head into the second half of the Big Ten schedule, and we're underway. Middleton will shag it at the four yard line. And is met at cartwheel down at the 19. Three wide out group for Trent Green. Wants to throw a screen. Bats only got about a yard. Green with a three step drop, zips it out to Lewis to the 39, and a flag goes in at the end of the play. And that may tack a face mask on to make it a first down for Indiana. First and 10 from the 44 yard line, opening series of the ball game. Green in trouble. And there's the mobility Gary talked about. Boy, did he pay the price at the end of it, though, at the 48-yard line as he just got tattooed by Jeff Messenger. <laughs> Seventh play of the Indiana Drive. And it's a counter. And you can count the times Gary Casper let Michael Batts have it. I hate to offend anybody, but in this case, it's true. Blitz on third and seven. Green just got rid of it. Incomplete. And it's third and a yard for Wisconsin at the 25-yard line. And Bell goes down. Looked like he got his feet tangled up with one of his offensive linemen, and Lamar Mills was there to make sure he was going nowhere fast. Green loads it to Lewis at the 48-yard line, about a yard short. Green is four for four, throwing the football. And he's going to throw it again on first down. Maybe. Nope, not this time. Mike Thompson. The big fella. And this is the problem that Indiana and Trent Green has been having this year. They have not been able to go by anything but five-step drops. You'll see right there on the left side, Chris Smith, number 71, was not able to handle Thompson. And the deep downfield passes have not been there for Indiana this year. He kind of ballooned up to about 280, and now he's in fighting shape as he showed on that sack. They're trying to get to Green again, and they do again. And this time it's Gary Casper who's come up with two tackles for loss already this afternoon. You're going to see they're going to try to screen to bats to the left side. Trent sees he does not have time. He has Shackerford right in his face. Then Casper comes in. Wisconsin already has started to come with four and five man blitzes as you. Third down and eight, Wisconsin. Bevel in the flat. Jason Burns. And Jason went out of bounds and then tried to cut back to get the first down. That won't work, especially with a true freshman. It's third and 26. We've had third and 34s and now a third and 26. Green with time. And we might have interference on that one. McGowan, the intended receiver, and Melvin Tucker was there too early. It was a good hit, but it was about a half second too soon. Third and eight. Wisconsin comes with everybody again. And now it's sack number two. Well, actually, he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. It's the kinder, gentler approach will work better today. Brad? His counterpart, Darrell Bevel, zips one out for a first down. The sprint draw. And a first down, and then some out to midfield. Jason Burns in the Indiana Territory. Pick up a 12. Are at getting a hat on people. Very simple office. You see the center right there, Corey Raymer. Get by the nose tackle and put his hat on someone. Mark Montgomery, the fullback, goes around the end and picks up the linebacker. And the running back is just running in space. And that's a very successful, well-coached football team right now. Indiana coaches said when you watch the offensive line of Wisconsin, they very seldom give. They're usually going forward. And this time they get forward for a couple of yards for Brent Moss, and that's about it. Second and eight. Double completes it to the 43 yard line. John, a senior out of a football powerhouse in Ohio. Moss cuts back, and he's got it to the 21 yard line. Here's one of the hottest kickers in college football. Rich Thompson, who won the game last week for Wisconsin over Purdue. This should be a chip shot, 20-yarder. Oh, 
No good. Forget chip shots. Yeah, I think you got to credit Mike Middleton right there, number 13. You know, in the past, when you had a Vaughn Dunbar, it was run or pass. Here, you got to question if they can run for three yards. And Green can't run for it either. First down. They went 17 plays on their last drive and came up empty. And across the middle, that's the deepest throw of the day. Aaron Brown makes the catch up to the 27. First down, Wisconsin. He's the oldest starting quarterback in the state of Wisconsin, and that includes Brent Favre of the <laughs> Green Bay Packers. Brent Moss takes it out to the 39-yard line. Another first down, a pickup of a dozen. Both. It's a roll here. DeRamus in motion as Bevel wants to throw on the run. For the 47-yard line incomplete, it was Michael Rohn. Yeah, the right guy, he just didn't hold on to it. But I think he might have dropped that because he didn't sure he had the first down. <laughs> this is third and three here against the Wisconsin defense that isn't giving it much either. to his intended receiver. Thomas Lewis out there. <laughs> First down, Wisconsin. And they're going to go to the running game after that one. Trying to get to the corner, and he's not going to get there. It's Jason Burns, thanks to Moe Richardson. Darrell Bevel's got to be careful now. Three wide receivers, and that's how careful they'll be. They give it off to Burns. Only to the 33-yard line, that's it. And Lance Brown made the tackle. Green. He'll run with it. And he gets it into Wisconsin territory at the 48-yard line. Carlos Fowler brought him down. Lewis is the slot man right there to the bottom of your screen. Green goes to the left side. Out to Beatty again. He tiptoes out of bounds at the 32 with 18 seconds left. Going deep for Lewis. Too deep. And there's six seconds left. But his career long, as you see, he's in that range. This guy is only five points behind Pete Stojanovic as the leading kick scorer for uh, Indiana. 44 career field goals. Stojanovic now an all-pro with the Dolphins at 47 in his career. They'll put this one down and We'll call it a 49-yard attempt. On the way. And no good. His tail to the left. Thompson missed earlier from the right side. Next, next week, we put our masks on. <laughs> There's the final snap of the half. Third and nine. Bevel with plenty of time. He dumped it over the middle, intended for Roan. Al Thurman was there. That one wouldn't have gotten a first down had he completed it. Starting at the 45-yard line. And going down at the 44-yard line is Bats. Third down and three. And again, they'll try to throw for him. The out is too far out for Thomas Lewis. Wisconsin from its own 20. Moss. Got about seven. Brent Green, the slant. Got it across the 45 to midfield and then some. Two tight ends set for Indiana. Green leveled from behind as he let go of the ball. Bats off to the races. He's no longer a true freshman after that run. Here's Casper right here, and I believe it's this man that's going to get his hand on him and hold him on the play. Casper's going to come around. No, it's the tackle right there. Now watch him grab him as he tries to get off from the backside, and that's really what sprung the play, but give credit to Bats. I mean, he can't block it and run it. He just read the, the daylight and sprinted out there. And boy, is that a welcome relief for the IU people. But he's got a little run to it. <laughs> 
Third and four. Green to Lewis. In and out of his hand. Von Ells perfect from this distance. This is a 21 yard attempt. Finally, we've got a score. We've been waiting for that cannon all day long. Well, I'll tell you, they got plenty of ammo left. <laughs> Hoosiers almost jump offside. Burns somehow snuck through down inside the 40 yard line. Second and six, Wisconsin. They go to the sprint draw the other way. Burns. Gonna be close to another first down. Okay, so the conversions on this drive so far. Great play pick. Tipped. Jay Davis tipped it. Incomplete. Having missed from 20, this one from 45 to try to tie it, and he knocked it right down the middle. To start the fourth quarter, Indiana from its own 30-yard line, fourth and inches. Green does it himself. Right, and he made it, too. He actually made it for the second time. Yeah, he made it the first time, we think. Yes. At the 31-yard line, Indiana and Wisconsin tied at three. Green on the scramble again. Goes the other way, and he'll have another first down. And really got peppered, and flags fly. And he'll thank the man that hit him, Gary Casper. Brett Law, the Indiana tailback. On first down, Green goes deep. Got it. Thomas Lewis, 23 yards. Third down at 17, Indiana. Coming again. Green deep for Lewis. He can't get back to it. I think somebody hit Green as he threw, and that one just did not have enough on it. Lewis was open. Yeah, the 22-year-old redshirt freshman does on this third down. There he is, moving out of the pocket. And there's the completion for a first down at the 30. From the 48. Lamar Mills. Oh, that's going to affect it. You're going to see a naked bootleg right here. He's going to fake it and keep it. There's no blocking. First, Whittington stays home. And then from the backside, Lamar Wills. And watch him drive him into the ground on that left shoulder. And that's really what kept him out of the game last week in the second half. For Wisconsin. Watch the old shovel pass here. Bevel loads it. Was hit as he threw. It's a jump ball and it's intercepted. Punt, go out there and play it. You see he's going to get hit just as he lets this football go, I believe. Actually, he just misfired on it. He felt that man coming up the middle. Hey, Troy Drake, number 66. The Ramos tries to break up the pass, but it's intercepted. Indiana takes over at its own 34-yard line. going to go down. That's the fifth sack of the day, and that's Lamar Shackerford for sure. Second and 19. Bats. Got 18. Might get a leg up on the other. My God. Isolated one on one out there, put a good move on and got a first down. Bats trying to cut back, and it cost him some yardage. Scott Nelson from the secondary made the hit. Third down, and this is third and 12. Blitz. They pick it up, and Green goes deep for Lewis. Touchdown!
this time the backs and the line does a good job, gives Trent Green that space to throw it. But what Thomas Lewis does is so nice on this play was the first angle. To beat someone deep, you not only have to have the speed, but you have to make one more move. And that last more move that he made on Messenger was the one that turned him around, and that allowed him to beat. Now Darryl Bevel's got to get Wisconsin going. He'll try to do it on the ground, and a quick opener for Burns. Got him a first down. Chris Dyer holding on for dear life. Burns, third down at 13. Draw play. Burns. He won't get 13 on it. And Bats got it to the 38-yard line. Still about two yards short from the 42-yard line. Another Indiana first down. This time Bats is dropped for a loss by Thompson. And Wisconsin's got 10 men coming after him, and they block it. Oh, why did he not just take that thing right into the end zone? I don't know why he fell down on that one. It's your ball no matter what. He had a touchdown from there. He just wouldn't have taken that play and safely fell down. The Julia would like to have some of that 86 yards back for this one. Badgers take over at the 32-yard line. I think Barry's going to say all you have to do is catch that and run into the end zone, Jamel. Jamel Brown says, Coach, I didn't know that. <laughs> you see it, it comes from up the middle that Corey time. Manley got Corey Manley it. makes the play. He's got his arrow. Now everybody's looking for the ball. Here's the Wisconsin opportunity now with 3 9 left. Burns cuts outside. And he's got close to 10 yards before Indiana can track him down. Battle to the end zone. Out is Aaron Brown. He caught it, but he couldn't get his feet down. Battle under a blitz. Across the middle. And it's first and goal at the three. Mark Montgomery made the catch. But they'll try to throw for it. They come back to the tight end and overshot it. Seven out of eight on the season, and here is the ball game. Bevel. And a tough one for Aaron Brown of the Badgers, who were hoping to get their first win on the road this season, or even the tie. That tie, they definitely take it now if they had the opportunity. They won't have that opportunity either. As Indiana, in front of their homecoming crowd, is going to survive this one.